Welcome back to ASUG News. I'm Gina Marchese. Thanks for joining us. We have a tremendous panel today of the SAP Business Object Strategic SIG within ASUG. I'm going to introduce our panelists today, Simon Toe from Fossil, Jennifer Kofer from Mantis Technology Group, Kevin McManus from LaunchWorks, and Victor Montana from Decision First Technologies. Thanks for joining me today. Business Objects has been a tremendous conversation this week with this being the conference, but also with uh, the Influencer Summit, which took place on Sunday prior to the event kickoff. Simon, I wonder, as the co-chair of this strategic SIG, tell us a little bit about what happened at the Influencer Summit this year. Uh, yes. So first of all, I want to say uh, thank you for ASAC to bring us back again to do another Influencer Summit at the uh, uh, Business Object User Conference. Now, this time, uh, they changed the format a little bit compared to last year. So last year, we kept the SAP outside of the room, so we make our decision first, and then after we decide what the topics are, then we brought it back into the, into the room and just kind of tell them. So this time, they changed the format. We have SAP inside the room all the time, so they see what's going on, they see all the interactions, and I think that works better that way, because it's, it's, it's better to them, they see actually what's going on, how we come up with all these topics, all these issues, you know. And I see a lot of collaboration. And I like the fact that we have all these people go up in a different group and they talk about different areas. And when I'm looking at the whiteboard, I see a lot of issues that they listed there, which is great. Now, so right now we have all these issues, and I know that it's going to be captured and going to be issued a white paper. So, but I guess what we need to do is, we need to have a follow-up. So we, get, we need to take it back to the user community, say, okay, now you told us these are your problem, so we need to tell them how we're going to solve them, what's the plan, what's the next step. That, that, would, be, that would be great for that. It yeah. seems that collaboration is the key. We're hearing a lot about a yes. change in collaboration with SAP mm -hmm. as it relates yeah. to the business objects community. I know each of you re respectively represent a pillar of the purpose of the strategic SIG, and I'll start with you, Jennifer, with um, service and support, very hot topic. Yes. And this is specific, obviously, just to business objects. We know that there's a lot of passion around the topic. I wonder if you can share what has the service and support community within Business Objects been doing, and what are your challenges? We've been extremely busy. Um, I, I was blessed to be working with some very active people within the SAP support organization um, for the Americas here, and um, even the UK and Ireland. So what we've been doing, um, we identified a need to you know, kind of uh, cut off the need to call support by education. So we have support engineers who've come up um, with things that are most often called about so that they can educate on that. We call that our 2012 Tech Talk series. And we've been doing them about, <clears throat> excuse me, once a week um, since January. So we've done about 20 of them so far. And tell me a little bit, I understand there's some improvements or an opportunity with the SAP Service Marketplace. Yes, so one of the things that have, have come out of our group in the past two years is there's, there's a need, if you've ever been on the service marketplace, it's kind of confusing. <laughs> I mean, just to be honest here. And with the feedback that we've given and the working with, with Neil Greathead and the customer experience within the support organization, it's going to be redone. So they're, they're actively seeking customers for feedback. And um, I saw, if you went to any of their sessions yesterday, you got to see some screen mock-ups. It's going to be nice. Improvements. It's intuitive. Great. It's, it's great. Great. Now, Kevin, roadmaps, product direction. Another positive, much needed topic, but also a lot of challenges there. Tell us a little bit about what you've been doing for the community. Sure. So um, the, the, big, you know, the biggest challenges is finding information. So people have to make decisions every day in terms of, hey, is this product the right product for me? Is, is SAP moving in the right direction for what my company needs? So we really tried to address the challenges of uh, making sure that the roadmaps were available and easy to find. Uh, we created a new launch site called biroadmaps.com. So that's to complement the SAP website and the ASUG website as a way that one place that people can go to to find uh, the links and information about roadmaps. Any challenges you're facing? 
Uh, big challenges right now, again, is consistency. We did a survey, uh, got a great response back from the community, got great questions. And again, it's about consistency and availability. So again, educating the, the community about how to get to the information they need. Right. Now, Victor, SAP integration, really big, hot topic. It's a challenge. It's, yes. It was brought up one, as one of the top priorities when we first started the conversation in 2009. Tell us a little bit about what you've been doing. Well, um, we've done several webcasts in regards to the topic. Uh, also had several sessions at Sapphire and as well as, um, as, as here uh, with the um, SAP integration topic. Also, we did a survey uh, with great results. We did see an improvement of the perception of integrating business objects with SAP, and also great feedback as far as where we need to focus, what you know, what we can do to to make the integration uh, better, uh, seamless. So uh, we seem to keep on working, making sure that we are delivering the content that is, is needed and um, keep working on, on, on finding out what that needs to be. So it seems to me I'm hearing a lot that education remains a priority, not only the delivery of education, but the education of what you are all doing. Uh, in a conversation earlier today, we, we spoke with Tammy Daytree, your colleague who represents the education team, as well as Gabe Worthos, who is your co-chair for the SIG talked a lot about the fact that for the last two years you've been head down as a strategic SIG, just focusing on identifying the challenges, but now it's an opportunity to start celebrating your successes and bringing more attention to what you've been doing. Do you want to share some of the successes you've had or perhaps maybe some of the things you're looking forward to do next? Well, first of all, I was want to say that we always need more volunteers. You know, you never have enough uh, volunteers there. And the way I see that, if ASAC provides a venue to influence SAP to give us better product, so I think we should all take advantage of it and we should all participate in it to, to make it better. So that's why I want to call out to the user community and say, if you think something wrong with the product, join us right. and, and fight the battle together. That's so. great. <laughs> Jennifer? Uh, absolutely. I mean, we can always use more volunteers. Um, part of what we heard at the Influencer Summit was we think that, or at least we thought we were communicating out properly, but we want more ways of communication. So people, some folks aren't on social media, believe it or not, in this day and age. They're just not there. Um, we send out lots of emails. We send out, so we need to find more ways to communicate so we reach the broad audience. Um, also, I think doing a better job of communicating out the Influencer Summit um, to get more people there the day before the conference next year. Right. I remember earlier you were sharing about subject matter experts right. and SAP support. Gentlemen? Exactly. Uh, as far as volunteers, we definitely need to, to have that support from the community, the subject matter experts, to, to really uh, provide us uh, you know, the, the information that we need. And without them, it's, it's hard for us to, you know, to feel that, that need to understand exactly what the customer uh, is missing. So definitely we need that volunteer, uh, those volunteers to, to really join us. And Kevin, you mentioned a lot about the role of the SAP product experts and, and the support you get from SAP. Absolutely, uh, we got really great participation this year. Uh, we were actually able to add four more subject matter experts. So the community is really uh, grasping that this is an opportunity to, to talk to SAP and SAP is really ready to listen. Uh, we've, uh, we've been able to talk to uh, up to 12 different solution managers at SAP directly, giving them feedback. So we're really excited about the collaboration. So is it fair to say that if you are a business objects customer, maybe new into the fold with ASUG, uh, we've offered a value ship program, so we, we really encourage non-members uh, to join complimentary. Um, what would you tell them? Has the train left the station? Is it too late to, to get involved with no, business objects? Never too late. It's never too late. No. Never too late. That's yeah. a great answer. Well, thank you so much for your time today. Victor, Kevin, Jennifer, Simon, appreciate it. And much more success. We look forward to hearing more about your opportunities and what you're delivering to the community. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. This is Gina Marchese for ASUG News. Thank you for joining us. Please visit asuganline.com for access to proceedings and our live broadcasts.